Welcome Matt Pritchard. <laughs> Right, so uh, communication in the fast lane. Here's a question for you. Are you currently lost? Are you tired or deflated? Are you uh, feeling hungry? Have you got something that you want to communicate? Are you, uh, maybe, maybe you're experienced and you're you're sort of bursting to give some information out. Well, this next keynote is going to be a welcome break for all of us. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let, let's start with a video. Right, well, we're going to skip it. Basically, what happens in the video is uh, there's a ship and it's coming towards a lighthouse and it says the lighthouse has to move and the lighthouse is a lighthouse and it can't move. And it's basically a metaphor for bad communication. Uh, the four R's of good communication. So the question is what... The four... The four R's of good communication. So the first one is you need to do your research. You need to know what you're talking about. And then you need to think about how you're going to relate that information to your audience. The next, the final stage is the response. When you've done a good job in communicating, your audience will respond in a good way. So many people think this process is a linear process, research, relating, receiving, responding. It's not linear. It's think of it more as sort of a, a bow tie. So you've got this wide end at one end, and it's sort of, Wow. <laughs> so think of it as a bow tie. So you've got research on one side, then you've got the relating and receiving. That's, that's the next thing. We've got receiving, and then it's the audience's response. So that's, that's really, that's the heart of my message. That's a goat. <laughs> There's different ways people can learn. The first way people can learn is, is audio. That's by hearing it. The next one's social. That's Facebook and the like. Uh, visual, that's seeing things. Kinthetic, I've no idea what kinthetic. So I, I, I went on Wikipedia, and Wikipedia basically said it's, it's, it's tactile, and tactile is basically touch. So if you touch someone, you're communicating with them. <laughs> you want to get 100% communication. So... It, this chart here shows different ways you can communicate. So if you get the audience to read and see and hear and collaborate, then basically you've got 130% communication, which is different ways you can do that. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. We haven't got time for the exercise. This, this, this chart, I'm sorry you can't see it. This chart is, this is important, especially that bit. Skip that, skip that, skip that. Go. We're not doing the exercise. Really, really, this sums up what I'm, I'm trying to say here. You can have brilliant ideas, but if you can't get them across, you won't get anywhere. <laughs> obviously, uh, obviously, that's really bad. Uh, hopefully, you realise that. That's not, that's not normally me, but actually, everything you've just seen, I've seen done live. Over the last 15 years of, sort of listening to speakers, I've seen people make every single one of these mistakes.